Hello and welcome back to This or That with Kobe and Adash, presented by Verizon. Playoffs is heating up, James. Top four teams Woo. doing battle. <laughs> These matchups are going to be so good. Who's going to Houston? That's really the only question that remains with the couple series that we have left in front of us. We also got some news today, Kobe. For the first time ever on this or that, we're going to get hit with a couple of video questions. And these are coming straight from fans who attended in person this past weekend. So let's get to our first one. Roll the clip. Hi, my name is Vimian Rath. Uh, I am a student at the University of Redlands right now. And my question for you is, would you pick Faker 2013 or Faker 2022? Like in terms of like gameplay or like just in general? 2013 uh, every you just day going for it. of the week. I still remember first time I ever met Faker. He was so pure and innocent. Also, if you remember back to 2013, okay. he, he was actually like Neo, okay? Because no, no one else uh, was- Matrix Neo, not Neo the yes, player. Yes, Matrix Neo. Also, I realized that movie is so old. That's what I'm saying. I was, that's why I clarified. I was it, like, most of our audience thinks you just compared him it is, to Neo the 80 carry. <laughs> but Faker, Faker would predict what you would do before you would do it, and which made so many of his plays and yeah. so much of the domination of 2013. The legend of this guy coming so, straight out of solo queue, playing Nidalee and LeBlanc, and just smashing people. So here's the thing, right now I'm feeling Vimian's wrath, which is also the dopest name ever right now, because this is a difficult question to answer. I think for me, where I get hung up right now on 2013, Kobe, is that's what he was doing then, but could he do that could that version of him do that in the current state of League of Legends, right? Because it's a different game. It's evolved entirely. I think the world and individuals around him have gotten better, so he couldn't individually dominate the game now like he used to, which is why I will choose 2022 Faker. I want the seasoned veteran. The guy has been doing it for a decade, and he's seen it all. He's seen every single meta, so you can't surprise him anymore. But I think he's a more well-rounded player, and I think when it comes to getting a championship, you can't rely on individual dominance anymore. You need a whole team, and this version of Faker is the kind of leader that will take a team to a world championship again. That's my pick. We have another video question, our it's second back one back. of the episode. Back to back, Kobe. Let's see it. I'm uh, Ellie from San Bernardino, California, and I was just wondering, uh, when it comes to the rest of playoffs, would you rather see teams play something more of their comfortable style, or would you rather see more of a specific counter strat similar to how 100 Thieves dominated over C9? Counter picks, that's also a no brainer. Counter picks. Really? You want to see the same he old said, shit wait, over <laughs> and over, James? <laughs> that's not, uh, it's not that no. I want to see the same shit over and over. I don't want to see coming. comfort. Nobody cares about comfort. Guess what? You're going to pick <laughs> tanks every game, you're comfortable. I'm going to uh, pick Alawi. I've been. You are weeks. obsessed with this Alawi pick. I walked in earlier, so I always come in halfway through them filming the dive. I sneak into the studio, <laughs> and the first conversation I hear is Mark and Azale going off on Kobe about this Alawi pick. And Counter you, pick. It's not going to get played. It's not going to get played. Um, that is what I would like to see. So yeah, selfishly as a viewer, Counter Strategy question, is what I would way. like to see. Ellie, Good great question. question. Thank you very much. Um, that is what I would like to see, but to give me more faith, that the team that wins North America is ultimately going to do well internationally, this is what I want to see. I do ultimately still think that the best way to win in any sport is to do what you are best at, not to just try and presuppose what the other team is going to do and do something you're worse at just for the sake of it statistically like beating them. you're getting complacent. I'm not That's getting what that will lead to. Whatever. Comfort leads to complacency, <laughs> which leads to stagnation of the entire region. I can't disagree Winter with counters, that. baby. Okay. What would you <laughs> like to see from Fly's summer? A run ooh, back ooh, of the ooh. same roster that did way better than people projected them to do or play the market. Keep in mind that this is not one of the big money bags teams. Yeah. I think they did very well with what they had. That's a Maybe I play have. the market a little bit and adjust, but I would say not blow up the roster. So maybe I actually do go play the market because play the market doesn't mean you have to actually make the changes. You're testing, you know, trying to figure out if you have any. Yeah. I, 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 I would, I'll, I'll go play. I, I'm with you. I, I wouldn't say 100% lock this roster. Yeah. And again, I think you should explore other options. Yes, they yeah. have performed expectations, but it's not like you could not upgrade this roster. I think you're living with your head in the sand if you think you couldn't upgrade that roster. 
Uh, best way to climb right now, is it duoing as top jungle, as mid jungle, or bot support? Do you duo much? I pretty much only solo I, you. I almost never yeah. duo. Um, also, if you are Masters Plus, you cannot duo. Thankfully, that's not a problem for Kobe, me. Kobe, that's not a problem for most <laughs> of us. Yeah, I was just uh, say, and for the people watching this show, probably not a problem but, for them either. But I always, at least <laughs> once a season, will try and make that push and try and get to the, yeah. the, the you know, first world good. problems. Honestly, though, the best duo for climbing is mid -jungle. Mid jungle. It's mid jungle for sure. I think so I, as well. I think there is very little wiggle room. I, I think when you talk about the possibilities, right? So you just talk about like whether or not you fulfill <laughs> those expectations is another story. But I think uh, there is definitely the most ownership over the game in mid jungle, especially in solo queue, because you can just touch the most pieces of the map. Actually, behind that though, I would go bot support before I go top jungle. I actually think that's where behind mid jungle, I would go bot support. Uh, because if you can completely dominate that lane, and work together, you know, the whole time, whole way through. I think that's another possibility. But I'm gonna go mid jungle with Kobe. Next slide. What do you got for us? Which trash talk uh, would you? Wait, 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 wait. Which trash Which talk trash would you, talk take, would you more take more of? Or like, of? what do we want more of? I think, right? Or okay. are they saying like, how much do you take before you get pissed off and want to throw hands? Like, like, what trash talk would I rather see? It, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. Because it's like, which trash yeah, yeah, talk yeah, yeah. would you take more of? It's I'm like, like I ain't gonna which take trash, trash Yeah, I'm to step up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm Will hand. Smith. I'm no. <laughs> yeah, you get, get my name out your mouth. <laughs> okay, aren't they trash these days, <laughs> Cloud9? Or sending Fudge back to top lane next week. Um, I like this because uh. there's a little bit more nuance and I think um, specificity in my trash talk. I think it's very easy to do a sweeping statement like, oh, aren't they trash? Aren't they garbage? Oh, I heard they were good, but they don't see blah, blah, blah. You can throw out kind of generalized statements, you know, as much as you want. To me, the real tw trash talk is when you come with something a little bit specific and targeted, but that also doesn't seem too far, right? You're not targeting the wrong things. Um, I'm gonna go with JoJo's. Uh, trash talk there. I want more targeted player v player kind of trash talk so we can sh we, we can compare them on the week. Yeah, this one's so, this slide is so nebulous because it's also comparing interview trash talk to tweet trash talk. So it could just be a uh, form of yeah. trash talk yeah. or a yeah, media. Which media would you rather have? Uh, Give me the socials. I want stuff. I mean, they're both good. All week long. I want stuff all week, not just when we ask you questions on stage. Again, I like it both, don't get me wrong. Yeah. I want all the trash talk that is, you know, uh, not overstepping. Honestly, but. yeah, I, I, guess I'll, I guess I'll go with uh, I'll go with the interview one then because <laughs> I, I want both of them. That one doesn't there mean too is. much to me. Stronger mid heading into the weekend. Is it Fudge oh, or no. JoJo? Oh no. I think it's Fudge. Fudge was uh, massive for Dude, Cloud9. that last series, he just Victor, dominated. LeBlanc, hard, hard carry. What was happening? They would all dive Berserker, blow up Berserker. Yeah. Fudge would be the main Actually, carry. I'm with you, and and mostly because what makes JoJo good is his landing performance, and he's not going to get that landing performance over Fudge, right? Ooh. So I think that he matched up specifically as well. Fudge will look Ooh. better than what? I'm not saying he's never going to get a single kill, but I just, uh -huh. across the series, like you're saying, I think Fudge is going to survive enough and then be effective this, in mid to late. This does make me remember, though, the infamous um, Soraka game that that he had as well as the Lux game. Man, they're so they're so funny because they ha they have each actually had the upper yeah. hand over each stick other. Stick to your guns because I joined you. I, I'm sti <laughs> so I'm, stick I am sticking to my guns, but to the point of Jojo beating him him in lane, he will go very offensive yeah. early game runes and play his lanes very well. We saw it in their EG series, so I wanted to play LeBlanc. I think that is that is a good <laughs> one. Fudge. Okay, would you rather have Less walls on Summoner's Rift or less bushes on the map? Um, I would go probably with less bushes, but that's because we already kind of have a version of that when you take Infernal Drake. So we're not talking, it says less, not all bushes gone. There's already a version of Summoner's Rift that I'm used to with less um, uh, bushes, but there's no version of Summoner's Rift that I'm used to with less walls. There's only a version with more walls. From, from Mountain Drake that I'm used to. Well, it blows up a, a little bit of the walls with Infernal too. 
Yeah, a little bit, but that's kind of right. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, you're right. It does. <laughs> you're right. It does. You're right with around the blue buff and yeah. stuff. So actually, yeah. So I guess we have experience with both. I, but I would go less bushes then because uh, then I don't have to deal. But I don't yeah. have to deal with vision as much. I, as a lower ranked player, I don't want to deal with vision. Just let me face check stuff. I, I I I definitely like using vision to my advantage. I also play you know things like fiddlesticks and stuff. That definitely more brush is better. Uh -huh. More places. But to also Oprah. walls. So I'll go. I'll go less walls. Okay. Because I, I really actually like the gameplay of brush. Walls don't have as much gameplay. I just don't want people to be able to, sorry. I know you swapped the slide. Nope, too late. You're not gonna talk. No, I, I have something to say. I, I don't like the idea that you could get from A to B in a straight line all the time. That's why I like walls is because they force pathing changes, uh -huh. right? Or, or like they just, Force timing and pathing versus like a bush, you can just walk straight through the bush no matter what. So Efficiency, that's gonna change James. Pathing. I'm Efficiency. Sorry. Which <laughs> series is more likely to go to five games? You're a jungler. You need a path more efficient yeah. between um, camps. That one's more likely to go to five. Mm. No, actually, that's not true. This one is. I honestly. This one is. This one is. I could see both of them going going. Five they could games both pretty easily. But the reason why I'm gonna say that one is because I think both Ooh. of the, the I'm saying not sorry not eg Cloud9 is because both those teams are super volatile. So while it could go five games, I think it's just more likely to end before it gets there because they're okay. more volatile teams. Okay, I'm with you. I'm with you. So I'm, I'm going to go with the 100 Thieves uh, Team Liquid for better shot. All right, last slide here. Better five game pocket pick. It's going to be Whippo's Rengar. This comes from Alex Token, okay. by the way. Or Beer Okay, Games. more exciting. The one that I want to see, the Rengar. Whippo's Rengar for yeah. sure. Because Rengar right now, we are still going to be on 12.6 without the adjustments uh, yeah. <laughs> to Rengar that they're making on 12.7, which right. is coming out today. So Rengar is so OP. I've been trying to say, you rush Essence Reaver, you can two-shot towers, you can crit with Q Sorry, towers. two-shot towers? Yes. You can crit towers with uh, Rengar now I'm with the go Q. I'm gonna play some Rengar. It's still gonna be in that case. On 12.7, on live, which is coming out today. Won't be possible. They are reducing the damage of Q to towers. Damn, I missed my opportunity. Because of that reason. Okay. But Burex and Zillion is probably the better pick because we have seen it so many times be so successful, but also because we've seen it so many times, I'm not as excited for it. it. Yeah. But the question is, which is better? Probably. I think it's not only better, but it's also more likely, to your point, right? Um, but absolutely, Bjergsen's uh, Zillion is something that's very reliable. I also think it's going to work in more compositions than this. This, is, I think, is a specific counter pick, a specific situation uh, mm -hmm. that will demand he pull this out. I think Bjergsen's going to be like, I could pull Zillion into any matchup. So it's more about what composition we want to play. And if it slots in, it slots in. So I think that's a better pick and more likely to happen. That's our last slide right there. Uh, one more weekend to go. Two best of fives to determine who is going to make the trip all the way out to Houston. Uh, we hope you enjoy the series. See you this weekend. weekend. We hope some of you are going to come join us live in Houston. We'll catch you there. <laughs>